Okay, so today I want to uh, present the latest update to the Utheme Pro Civi CRM Bridge extension. Uh, Utheme Pro is a theme framework for uh, built for WordPress and Joomla that includes a um, <clears throat> drag and drop page builder. And it is based on the UI kit theme framework which you can find out uh, information about at gitumikit.com and look at some of the, the capabilities of the framework, okay? The initial bridge extension came out in mid-January and at the time it, um, it basically supported displaying data from Civi CRM uh, onto your WordPress or Joomla website in let's just say like a list view or a list format. And so as an example, if you had a group of contacts, um, you could you could display them all uh, in list view or table view or, or however, okay? But what you couldn't do is drill down into <clears throat> one specific contact and view the data associated with that one uh, specific contact and only that contact. Uh, but with the latest release of the bridge extension, uh, you can do just that. And so that's what I want to show you today. And so I created an example at cividemo.com uh, using uh, popular bands, or I guess what at one point in time were popular bands, um, and the artists that played in those bands, okay? And this data is stored in Civi CRM. And uh, right now we're using the bridge extension to display the sample artists here on the left in a description list format. And then the bands here on the right uh, in a uh, just simple list format, okay? So here's our description list and here are our bands. Okay, and what we can do now is uh, we could drill down, for example, into Guns N' Roses. And we're taken to a specific page uh, where we can view just the details associated with Guns N' Roses. So name, image, basic information, you know, city, state, and related band members. Okay, and we can further drill down, uh, for example, into one of these band members. We'll click on Axel Rose. And again, we are viewing information specific to this contact in Civi CRM. So the data is just sitting in Civi CRM. It's brought through onto the, uh, it's brought through to the website via the Utheme Pro bridge extension, okay? And it's maintained in Civi CRM as well. It's not copied over to any content item or anything like that. It all just is stored in the CRM. And so here's, for example, the contact record for Guns N' Roses. And now this might look a little bit different uh, than what you're used to. I'm using the Finsbury Park uh, theme developed by Nick Weistrick. Uh, it's a cross CMS theme. So it works on uh, Drupal, WordPress, and Joomla. It's quite nice. Thanks for that, Nick. And just have some basic information in here. Again, website, email, uh, city, state, image, a tag or two, and that's pretty much it, okay? So now what we wanna do is demonstrate how we build this out, okay? And you should be able to do this in the administrative area of Civi Demo. I believe we've got a, a user in there that can edit content and play around with this bridge extension. Okay. So let me navigate to the right place. Okay. So here's our starting point. So this is the sample view that we were just on. Okay. And so on the left, we've got our sort of builder area. And on the right, we've got a live preview. Now you can see that it's changed because my resolution is um, is sort of blown up to accommodate uh, recording this video. So the layout isn't quite perfect, but we're gonna focus on this popular bands list element down here, which 
is this particular element. Okay. And we're just going to jump into it. And so what we see right away is that we have a single list item in here, and yet we've got multiple items displayed in the list itself. And that's because we've mapped CVCRM contacts to this one list item. So let's jump into it and take a look at how we've done that. So basically, we've mapped this particular field uh, to, I'll just delete it to demonstrate. So we've mapped the content field to the CVCRM contact ID, okay? And I'm sorry, to the display name. Let me change that real quick. Okay, so here are our display names. And so we just mapped it straight through to CVCRM. And what's enabled us to do that is what was built in the first release, and that is the ability to, on this dynamic contact area, to specify CVCRM contacts, and uh, it supports CVCRM events as well, okay? And in this example, we're just pulling organizations, and we could filter based on group, and there's some other fields down here to allow for sorting and uh, dynamic conditions and stuff like that, but we don't have anything applied, so it's a pretty simple setup, okay? And so here we are in our list format, and now we want to drill down to any one particular band. We'll, we'll keep focusing on Guns and Roses here. And what allows us to do that is this link field down here. Now, ordinarily, this link basically works by taking the user when they click it to the individual page. And so in WordPress or uh, Joomla, this would be responsible for potentially routing the user to the individual post page or article page in those CMSs. But what we've done is said, well, we want this link to go to the individual page that's associated with this, uh, this band. And we're gonna determine that based on the contact ID. We use the contact ID to filter that. We add in just a little bit of information. So when we click this link, we pass through the contact ID for Guns N' Roses, and we pass it through to a page called Band, which we've already created. And we include one small parameter to say this is the CIVI contact ID that we want to pull. In the future, we'll be able to support multiple parameters here, so we could push through related information and have it displayed on the website as well. But for now, we're just passing through one parameter, and that's the, the CIVI contact ID, OK? So this means that when somebody clicks on a uh, link here in the list, it will take them to a specific page where the information is only associated with that specific contact. Now, again, obviously, the display here on the right is uh, sort of blown up because of my resolution, so just bear with me. But you can see that we've got um, display name here for the band name, city, state. We've got the image. Okay. Again, this is all this is all built into uh, this is all stored in CVCRM. So we're just you know pulling it through and displaying it on the website. And so let's determine how we do that. I'm just going to go into my headline element here. And sure enough, this is mapping to the CVCRM display name. And if I go into my advanced tab, I can see again that I'm mapping to CVCRM contacts. And I've set this parameter, URL filter field, to match the contact ID. So from the previous page, we're pushing through the contact ID. And on this page, we're simply filtering based on this contact ID, which is what allows <clears throat> each of these elements to basically display only that information associated with the contact, with that particular contact ID that we've passed through. Each of these elements, this is a pretty simple layout. And obviously, you could you could build fairly complex layouts here with a bunch of different elements um, and map them all to individual fields in CVCRM. For example, we're mapping this field to the CVCRM uh, image URL field. Okay. Another example of that is if I drill down to Axel Rose, you can see that this text element here 
actually I have mapped to the job title field in Civi CRM, and that's what is exposing the lead vocals and lead assist right here because this is what's stored in Civi CRM. And the setup is the same again using dynamic content and we're just using this URL filter field for the contact ID. So you could use multi-item elements that uh, have a bunch of different fields or you could stick with uh, individual elements like a headline or text um, to build you know fairly complex layouts. So it's it's pretty powerful. Um, there's more information at lab .org. You can do a search for Utheme or YTP Bridge, and that'll bring you to this project overview where you can find some information. Um, go to GitHub, download the code. There's an issue queue that uh, uh, lists some of the outstanding issues as well as some of the enhancements that are actively being worked on or that are being planned. So you could certainly get involved there if this interests you. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.